Okay, so gas prices are a little ridiculous right now, and you're interested in taking the leap into the world of electric vehicles to save some coin. But what about maintenance costs of owning an EV? In today's video, I'm going to break down how much maintaining an EV costs versus a gas car. So let's get into it. Now, let's just say you own your vehicle for 300,000 miles. According to the AAA driving cost calculator in relation to maintenance, repair, tires, it would cost you about 18.47 cents per mile or $55,410 for a medium-sized gas sedan. That's insane, right? Now, we know with gas cars, because of all its moving parts, there's a lot of maintenance. Everything from the air filters to the 12-volt battery to the many different belts, and lastly, all the fluid needed to operate a gas car. Your brake fluid, your engine coolant, your engine oil, your power steering fluid, your transmission fluid, and all of the above. Now, in retrospect, when looking at an EV, there just isn't as many parts to maintain. So let's compare a Tesla Model 3. When looking at Tesla's official website, they recommend the following maintenance. They recommend you changing your air filter every two to three years, or if you have a HEPA air filter, change it out every three years. They recommend tire rotation and alignment every 6,200 miles, which doesn't include replacement, but we'll get into that later. Uh, they recommend brake fluid tests every two years. They recommend your AC be service every three to six years. And in the colder climates, they recommend brake caliper cleaning and lubrication every 12,000 miles. Now, to get a more accurate calculation, I asked someone who recently hit 300,000 miles in their Tesla Model 3. My friend Mike bought his Model 3 back in 2018. It was an all-wheel drive, and he puts a lot of miles on his vehicle due to his job. So he was looking for something that will last him three to 400,000 miles. Now, despite the recommended service from Tesla that we just talked about, Tesla ended up telling him that no service is required when he would bring it in. And instead they told him, they advised him. Hey Mike, this is Tesla service. Um, we just were just giving you a call back to let you know that there actually is no service required. Just go ahead and drive your vehicle until it breaks. Don't worry about it. So what exactly has he paid for in the 300,000 miles he has owned the vehicle? Let's talk about that. Firstly, Mike hasn't had to replace his brakes in 300,000 miles. That's due to the amazing regenerative braking that are in EVs, just doesn't use the brake pads. Now in a gas car, a complete brake repair that includes pads, rotors, caliper replacements, averages between anywhere from $300 to $800, and in some models, it can be up to $1,000. Now it's recommended to replace brake pads every 15,000 miles in a gas car. And that typically costs $600 just for the pads. Now, Mike didn't have to worry about that, so that's a plus for the Tesla side. Now, he did incur a horn replacement, which costed him $140. He also had a front control arm, which cost him $800. And he had both rear knuckle bushings, which costed $2,000 to fix. Now, some of this is just luck of the draw and what he happened to get on his vehicle. But as you can see, maintenance is much cheaper than a gas car. That is for mostly everything except for tires. Now, when it comes to tires, it's important to know that EVs go through tires much quicker than gas cars. On average, people drive anywhere from 12 to 15,000 miles a year, which means that the average good quality all season tires in a gas car will last somewhere between three to five years. Now, in an EV, that would last about two and a half to three years, as EV tires typically last about 30,000 miles versus gas cars lasting about 60,000 miles. But why do tires go so quickly in an EV? Okay, so you're here to learn about your Tesla's maintenance costs, but what about general use of your vehicle? That's where today's sponsor, Teslab, comes in. Teslab is an app that unlocks massive amounts of data and power of your Tesla. Let me show you just what Teslab can do. Tesla can record a trip. Let's just say this one that I'm taking to Tahoe. It records just when you start and stop charging. It will record your entire drive, giving you visibility to temperature, how much battery is being used at specific parts of your trip, overall efficiency, elevation change, speed, and more. 
Not only that, but it has a community aspect, which allows you to learn and share about supercharging spots and interact with your friends, posts, and so forth. You'll also be able to see where on your trip your efficiency is and what your estimated range is going to be. This is a must have for road tripping, and that is just the tip of the iceberg. Now you couple that with quick controls, sustainability reports, your carbon impact, trackable events, charge cost calculator, and the ability to see this data in real time as you're driving makes this a must have for any Tesla owner. If you haven't checked out Tesla, I highly suggest that you do. Click the link in the description down below to check them out now. Now let's get back to the video. It's because of the weight of the EV. EVs are heavy because of their battery packs, which put a lot more pressure on the tires, hence why you end up replacing them quicker. So it's important to know that your cost of tires is gonna increase with an EV. Now in Mike's case, he didn't actually end up replacing his tires as often as we would expect. He's actually only been through three sets of summer tires and two sets of winter tires, which is only five sets of tires. Now, in relation to cost in general, the price of a new Tesla Model 3 tire is usually around $285 per tire, making this set of four about $1,140. After the average labor costs and taxes are added, the cost of a Tesla Model 3 full set of tires can be about $1,300. So we take that and Mike has spent about $6,700 on tires through 300,000 miles. And in retrospect, according to Consumer Reports, the median price paid for tires in a gas car is $167, plus the cost of installation of about $24 a tire, makes changing your gas vehicle tires about $768. Now, if we factor that in 300,000 miles, we change the tires every 50,000 miles, we would incur a cost of $4,608 over 300,000 miles for a gas car and tires. So. A little bit of savings there. Now, Mike has also replaced his wipers about four times, which is about $50 a set. So $200 over the 300,000 mile life. He's also proactively changed his 12 volt battery at 250,000 miles. Now, it wasn't giving him any issues, uh, but he just felt that it was time and the 12 volt battery cost is about $120. And that's about it when it comes to maintenance. As you can see on the Tesla side, it's much cheaper to maintain than on its gas counterpart. Some of you just getting into electric cars might find it very weird that you never have to take your car in for oil changes, for fluids, for transmissions, for brake pads and so forth. You just drive and enjoy your car, but that is in fact the truth. And we have a great example in Mike who has driven his Model 3 300,000 miles and incurred far less costs than it would be in a gas car. I'm curious to know, did I miss anything as far as maintenance? What have you had to maintain on your car that maybe Mike didn't? Leave them down in the comments down below. Hopefully you found this video interesting and informative as that's what we do here. We're teaching you about Teslas and the world of EVs. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and hit subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.